Life is full of beauty. We see it everywhere. The starry sky, a newborn smile. It fills us with hope. Everything seems right. But in an instant, it can all change. Pain, sickness, death, they crash into our lives, reminding us of an inevitable end, haunting us with what will come. And so we grow cynical. What good will ever last? Is there anything unbroken? Hopes, desires, we now call them fantasies, children's stories. How could we not? Everything around us is perishing, spoiling, it's fading away into nothing. And yet, we rage against death. Foolish as it may seem, we fight the unfightable because something in us all says this isn't the way it should be. We yearn for a story of survival, the hope of a resurrection where death is not the final word. Good triumphs over evil and love never ends. But is it all in vain? Are we just deluding ourselves with more fantasies, more stories just for children? Christianity says no. Easter is the survival story. It's the moment when Jesus defeated the evils of this world and awakened in every human heart the longings of eternity, breaking into our broken world with a living hope that cannot perish, spoil, or fade. His empty grave assures us that our desires for beauty and goodness, for the broken to be whole again, are not tightly and wrongly held vestiges of impossible dreams. They are signals of transcendence. And so this Easter, Jesus invites us to stand in defiant hope against the pain of this life and death that we may sing, O death, where is your sting? O grave, where is your victory?